Welcome back guys, we are going to start where we left off. Now we're going to finish all the walls in this video, so let's get started. I'm going to go to Architecture tab, select the wall, and it's going to ask me to save the project, so we save it. Now we have selected this interior wall. Now let's start making some walls here. So we're going to finish this wall here as well for the garage. For that, I'm going to change the location line. So right now we are at finish face exterior, so that's fine. We're going to draw a line here by selecting this exterior face and let's just draw a line here. Now it didn't actually quite right because I need to select the wall location to interior. I'm going to select this line and now it's perfectly fine. I'm going to draw a line, just a random line. We can use this uh, trim and extend corner command later on to fix this. Now let's start with, now we need to change the location to exterior again and let's see, we're going to select this line and now we can just try on this line. Now we finish these lines, now what we're doing is we're going to create a couple of rooms around this area, so let's do that. For that I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to take this all the way and join this here, right? Now we are going to draw another wall, so let's select that wall command again and make sure we have selected this interior wall and now we're going to change this to, let's say, interior. I'm going to select this line and now I'm going to drop it here. Right, so we have these two rooms here. So this is going to be the guest room, the first one, and then the second one is going to be dining. Let's delete this wall. So to get rid of this wall, we can use this command split element. I'm going to select that and I'm going to zoom in. Now let's just zoom in and let's try to make a split here, right in the middle. Let's click here and then we go to the right here and then we are going to make sure that it's in the middle. So let's click here and we successfully split this line, press escape twice. Let's select this line and press delete. All right, so now we fixed that. Now let's draw a line here. Let's draw a wall somewhere here. And then I'm going to check the dimension for this. Let's select the dimension. And now here we have this 19 feet 7 inch and then 16 feet 6 inch, right? So I'm going to change this. I'm going to give it 18 feet. Now we have this dining area and then this is going this is a the guest room area. And this is going to be a dining area. We need to create a toilet here for the guests as well. So let's do that. I'm going to use the wall command again. And let's start from somewhere here. And give a value of 5 feet. And then bring it down 8 feet. That's going to be our toilet area. Right. So we have created these two rooms. We have created some rooms. We need to fix a few things here. I just want to change the design here. So I'm going to select this wall. And I'm going to click on this pivot point and make it to this exterior wall. So now what I can do here, I'm going to click on this pivot point. And now this is exactly 5 feet here. So I'm going to change this dimension to, let's just say, uh, maybe 1 feet. And now we have properly uh, this area for the door as well. Let's select this line and try to align this with this one. Let's go to Modify tab, select this Align tool click on this wall and then click on this wall and this will align this properly now this is going to be a toilet here that's going to be another toilet we could change this later on if you want to change it because we probably will change this because one is going to be like a proper toilet gonna to get everything inside and then one is going to be just toilet and for the people outside they can use that as well now let's uh, we have pretty much uh, finished our walls and in the next video we are going to finish doors and we'll do some modification as long as we are happy about it then it's fine otherwise we can still do a modification to our walls.